This is Tom Power with RJO Futures on the floor of the CME Group in Chicago. Uh, looking at the grain market today, we saw mixed signals at the close on Friday uh, with corn unchanged at five and a quarter, soybeans up eight and a quarter to 1274, and wheat up three and a quarter to 663. Uh, this looks to be a critical week for the grain market as traders look for increased forecast and increased rain um, heading into uh, pollination for corn. Um, the soybeans have a long way to go before traders find any confidence in a real trend line. Uh, we've seen far below normal rain conditions throughout Iowa, Missouri, and much of the Midwest, although the upcoming uh, forecast suggests that we could see increased yields heading into August, which is a critical month for the grain market. Um, if this is the case, the market could remain under selling pressure throughout much of the week. Um, same goes for corn. Short-term forecasts suggest further selling, higher yields uh, for the new crop in corn. China may continue to be a buyer. That's the one bullish signal that we have although their weather conditions remain favorable as well, and we may see increased production out of China. Um, moving on to the technicals, wheat continues to be oversold. Short-term support is at 652, with resistance at 672. Uh, soybeans, November soybean resistance comes in at 1279 with, uh, with support under 1260. Now a close under 1260 suggests that we could be heading back to the, the July low at 1224. Um, resistance for corn comes in at 502 and uh, 482 is the next downside objective. Um, if you'd like to discuss these markets further, my name is Tom Power with RJO Futures. Contact me at 800-438-4805. And remember, trading futures and options involves substantial amount of risk and is not suitable for all investors.